This Grade 2 listed gentleman's convenience is no ordinary piece of architecture. But then Joseph Conte is no ordinary architect. He's one of the first recipients of the Stephen Lawrence Bursary Award, a fund set up in the name of murdered teenager Stephen Lawrence to help talented young architects from minority backgrounds enter the profession. You know, just not having to think, deal with all the financial worries and stuff, um, I was able to concentrate on architecture, develop my skills and talents, and um, I guess the talents that um, the trust saw in me when they uh, decided to fund me for my final year. In, you know, how neat his mm. lines are in uh, doing some brickwork and stuff, mm. so he's, um, he was, yes, he was very gifted. But he, Stephen he was, Lawrence wanted to be an architect, and since his death 21 years ago, his mother Doreen has been determined to shake up the world of architecture. The RIBA, um, I think until Stephen's name became so prominent, I don't think anybody would know exactly who the R RIBA is. And also they themselves wouldn't start looking at themselves and see how can we open up um, the institution to, in, to include a lot more people of colour. And it's helped other young people to think that you know, it's a profession that they could consider. But the work that we've been doing over the years has helped to break down some of those barriers. Since 2008, this centre has been a permanent memorial to Stephen and an educational hub, giving more than 100 young people the chance to pursue their careers and realise their dreams, a chance Stephen himself was denied. But how much has actually changed? Figures from the Architects Registration Board show 9.5% of those joining the register in the last year said they were from a minority group, which represents a decrease from 12.6% a year earlier. Architect David Edge, who designed the Stephen Lawrence Centre, says the symbolism of Stephen's aspiration has in itself made a difference. You know, it, it touched me that Stephen, a young boy who would not be traditionally seen as the type of person who would want to get into that, was really interested in that. In fact, that was one of the kind of poignant moments of the story when I first heard of it. it was like, wow, this young boy wanted to be an architect. How great! That that could have been me. That was me. That was you know all the friends that I know who who have gone through the business. I like the way the artist has you know, animated the foreground. It really brings it to life, I think. And Tendai Muchasera, who was also supported by the Trust, is grateful for the opportunity he's been given. Every life matters, and to take something so tragic and turn it into something hopeful, you know, I'm doing architecture today because of the Stephen Lawrence Trust. I think um, that um, that's important, and it, it shows that there can be hope even in the most, um, most, most meaningless um, of, of, of tragic circumstances. Baroness Lawrence is expanding the work of the Trust into other professions where minority people are underrepresented. Breaking down barriers is her mission, but there's still a long way to go. Afwa Hirsch, Sky News.